Hi, hello. How are you? I'm so excited to get back into this. We got that mod installed. So I have, as you can tell, some nice uh, copyright free music for us to jam out to where the music will otherwise be removed in the game. <laughs> I'm super here for this. Let's do it. Oh, we've got the nice little uh, swooshes. I forgot about them. All right, let's load us up. We are oppressively beautiful bicon having our hoe summer. So, all right, let's load us on up. And this is good because I apparently need lock picking skills. <laughs> all right, let me turn this off so we can listen to the music in the game. All right. We've got that good, good rain. Everything looks good. We got our fists equipped. I mean, absolutely. Oh, Gaithan, we are vibing today. Vampires have to be sexy. I'm sorry. Somewhere on the spectrum. I mean, I, maybe unless you're Nos. Unless you're Nos. Because literally, <laughs> that's a... Uh, Part of their stat. <laughs> I'm currently in a um, vampire a requiem game, and we've been playing that game for about seven years now. Just about five years now. Five years now. I can't count. Five years. And this is why I went to law school because I cannot do math. There is an Osferatu in the game. I'm playing a Deva, which is the equivalent of a Toriador, right? I am heavily min-maxed in seduction. Surprise, surprise. Absolutely surprising no one. And it's, I'm a non-combatant basically. I don't, I don't do combat things. Um, we have other people in the group who can handle that. I handle situations by smooching. Oh, we got in a sticky situation. And TLDR, TLDR, the clan leader. So basically like the Nosferatu primogen. The clan leader for the Nos uh, fell for my character, Belathine. And we joke around now that he has like an anime, like yandere level shrine to her and like picks her gum up off the sidewalk and adds it to his collection. <laughs> so that's what we're joking around for, with the Nos. That's gonna bite me in the butt at some point in our game, I know it is. I know it is. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the oh. second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you'd think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago in Malibu, about this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? Nah, I haven't seen shark bites. This was something different. Like whatever killed him knew what it was doing. The head was missing, and the hands were missing. And, and there were these huge slashes, but... Bullshit. No, no. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. The worst part was I was waiting for the meat wagon. I think something was watching me. I swear on my badge today. Or something just out of sight. For a split second, I thought about going into the squad car and getting the hell out of that place. But this day makes me wonder what's really out there. <laughs> Maybe it was a werewolf. Woo! All right, all right. Or a vampire. Blue! Get it. See, this is why you didn't get invited to Hernandez's wedding, Ted. Yeah, Ted. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, um, I don't know if there's any crossover here. Is this like a world of darkness or is this pretty exclusively masquerade? 
I don't know how normally that normally that works. Oh, that lady's very upset. Okay, we can't get in there. Oh, having a time. That's gonna be our beach access, but we haven't really run around here yet. It's just World of Darkness as, as, a, as a whole. Ooh. Having a time. So what else is in here? What is this? Oh, it connects. I get it. I get it. I mean, this is not actually a door. Oh, God. And we've got our, our dude over here on the corner. All right. So, oh, all the posters are having a really hard time today. Are you doing all right, Bloodlines? All right, should we go into the beach? Or should we go to the asylum? What's first? I'm happy to do either. Beach first it is. That'll give those posters some time to sort themselves out a little bit. I do wish we could kind of change our outfits and whatnot. Wait, can we change our outfits? Maybe I just haven't gotten there. And I'm complaining prematurely. That poor lady. It has been trapped in development hell for years now. Is there anything under the stairs? Oh, oh, God. Oh, we're all right. Everything's fine. Oh, loading screen, apparently. Okay. Oh, there's an armoring mechanic? Ooh, stores. Got it. We'll do. Hi, what's up? <gasps> oh, there. Oh! Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Um, what? Those men you are looking for. How did you even know he's looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Um. Uh. Thanks? That uh, was very sudden. Okay, so up there, but who are all these people? Hanging out at the beach. I don't know if I... I mean, this is technically a beach, but it's rainy and uh, a little oil refinery. I guess this is a... Uh, that's gonna be the pier. That's fine. Um, hi shirtless man, what's up? Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, alright? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Um... I'm... I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You mean you ain't here to run us off? N no. Why, why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Um... What? Why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, hell, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. Oh. I say we're all equally screwed. I'm rather new to this myself. What's what's a thin blood? <laughs> I'm damned if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the lead. You tell me. I I I don't know. How did this happen to you? i just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. 
I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Go on. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Is... is Lily dead? Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Are all these others here thin bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from oh. their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. I don't know which one to pick. I mean, clearly they are vampires. So, uh... But they're not being, like, hunted down and whatnot. You know, like, we were. <laughs> When we return, they're just here, allowed to hang out. Which is great. I don't want them to get hurt or anything, but... Oh, you do know that you're vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Oh, maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Poor things. I'll ask around and see what I can dig up. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Huh? Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. The one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Poor things. Any idea why I might begin looking for information? Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye. Remember, we had that dude who was on the phone and we couldn't talk to him. But, but, that's for, that's for later. We gotta talk to all, all these people now. Alright. I can't tell, are those, oh no, it's a shirt. I thought it was like a back full of tattoos and I was gonna be like, that's sweet as fuck. You had me. No, no, you are going to China. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? Um, you're, you're not making much sense. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. We found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God, oh God, run. I, I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. You have a gift. Please, it's very important. Can you tell me anything else? One hand moves the pieces of the game. The winner keeps his hand on the pawn. Can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Can you tell me my fortune? I'll pay you. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, though. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Oh no, we can't just give her the money. 
I have the money. She needs it more than I do right now. Um, a hundred? I, I can give you twenty. Here's my question. Then ask again. Who can I trust? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. The man on the couch. Uh, Mercurial? He's the only one that we've seen on a couch. I don't know if the man on the couch is the lone wolf or whether these are two different characters, but... What's going to happen to me in the next few nights? The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Um... Who are my enemies? Many. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Uh, so, who has a job I can do? Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Any advice at all? Um, perhaps something that's going to save my life? Don't open it. Um, so, um, am I going to win after all is said and done? Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. Uh-huh. Um. In the fifth grade, who stole my bike? I see the future, not the past. That's fair. Right, I'm sorry. I'll come back when I have another question. Oh, I get it. That dude's name is E, but you also press E to use and interact with objects in the world. Oh, that's cool. All right. You have an OPA shirt on, just about. What's up, my guy? Beltaloda. E evening. Are you alright? It's n n nothing. Do I do I scare you? N n n no, no, I, I have a spe speech problem. Oh. S so sorry. Oh no, no, no! I am sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Hey. Poor Easy. buddy. Easy. No one. No. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Um, wh what, what are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? What? Hello? Um... I'm gonna do my blue option because I have it, but uh, I, I have no idea what this means. If he's killed with the holy stake, sure, perhaps you'd be interested in purchasing it. Am I gonna? Okay, but rip first this guy I have off? another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get oh, a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Oh no, we are. I thought that maybe she was having a moment. No, no, no. She's just being a jerk. Persuasion, you've led me astray. No, I think it's permanent. What? Oh no. There, there's nothing I can do? Now I can use it, right? Now that it's not being a dick. You can try not to let your condition defeat you. 
But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Wow, why are all of these so mean? The dead can never live again, but they can survive. Do you understand that? It's going to be okay. <sighs> this sucks, bro. I wasn't as helpful as I wanted to be. Man, that's everybody. Poor things. So we gotta go find out about thin bloods. Where Can we? Did oh, you I, go? I didn't try to talk to them again. Look at the ocean. I used to love swimming out into her at the crack of dawn. Can you? Can you still swim in open water as a vampire? I I think you can, right? You just still can't be in the sunlight. I'm I'm sure that you did. Uh, could I ask you a few more questions? Be my guest. Hmm. I'm looking for some guys that might live on the beach. Do you know any place like that? Oh, you should try up there, through that chain link gate. A couple of real nasty looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. Oh. Thank you. Lily, okay. Did you go? Poor guy. Oceans in the bottom. Ooh, oh. Oh. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Wait, is that broken? Oh, I thought the chain link was broken. We could get in around under there. Get my shoes wet. All right, so we can go up there to the pier or we can follow the nasty looking dudes, potentially. Yeah, we can't, we can just go up there. Oh, the stakes to sell to the guy? Oh, no. Poor dude. I'm gonna explore first, I think. I want to see. <gasps> Hello? Did you see that? Did you see the puppy? He was just hanging out up there. Are there werewolves? I feel like there are werewolves. Okay, there's just a lot of back alleys, so let me go to the front so we can uh, actually see stuff. Oh, that is it. <laughs> we gotta go up this way. All right, did we end up giving her 20 bucks a question? Where's my wallet? Well, I have so much money. And then what else do we have? We got a key ring with no keys on it. We have a lock pick, some pills, morphine, a silver ring, a blood pack, and then our steak. Okay. Oh. All right, wait, can we get in this? Okay, just making sure. So we've got, ooh, a psychic. Oh, it was Kilpatrick paying us. Oh, we can't get back there yet. Oh, are we in an area we're not supposed to be in right now? Do I need to hide? Oh, I can't even get in here. Oh, I can squeeze down this alleyway. Um, are they gonna get upset with me? I'm gonna duck in. <gasps> to the arcade! Can I play any of them? Oops. Bubble bum. Thank you. Do you have to blush to chew bubble gum? The blush of life is the ability that you use to uh, consume human food and drink. In case that's not a 
masquerade thing, and it's only a requiem thing. Oh shit, that's the dude! Oh, poor thing. So I can't open any of this, even though it'd be really cool to go on that. So now what? Um, I don't think I can do that, especially with all those cops standing there. They're gonna get really nasty with me. But I would kind of like to go to the psychic. Maybe we can go later? Okay, it looks like now we gotta go... Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Xavier. That was my point. Thank you so much for grabbing that. Because, like, gum requires, like, saliva and whatnot to, like, soften it and make it, like, chewable. I think you would have to blush. Alright. There we go. Oh my gosh, she climbed those so quickly. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> so fast. At least it's really pretty. Alright. <gasps> oh, there's a little house? Okay. <gasps> and a dude? Do I need to, like... Is this dude gonna be mean to me? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Help ya. Okay, we have many things to choose from. Oh god. <sighs> because our aesthetic is oppressively beautiful. Do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. I tell you what, I'll let you in. If on your way out, you want to work out a little fair trade for future purchases, you come see me. I'm Brian. <laughs> I like how he tries to do the smirk. I'll think about that, Brian. See you. Ha ha! Handle everything with good looks. Damn it. Somebody. Oh. Go see the man. I'm about okay. to change my mind. Oh, Mercuria. all right. Mercuria. Guy with a name like that deserves to be beat. Okay, at least we know we're in the right neighborhood. Fuck. Is there a little dog in there? What the heck? Oh my goodness. All right. Can we fuck with any of this? Okay, we know it's there. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, puppy. Hi, bud. Are you sweet boy? No, not sweet boy.
He doesn't want to be our friend. I'm so sad. All right. <laughs> what's going on? Hey, what's up? Oh, you're watching. Cheating ass computer. Uh, okay. Okay, so they were in there. This is a bathroom. We don't want to go there because I think that's puppy. That's locked. Hey guys, what's up? Does nobody care that I'm just hanging out? What is this? A car stereo. <gasps> oh! What? Why? Why are you upset with me? Oh, it was clearly their stereo. Oh shit. I can't even like get out of here. Hold on, hold on. Would you Oh <gasps> Brian! Brian, buddy, we Oh my god. Brian, dude. Oh, where was the stairs? There was the stairs! Please. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. I cry. There needs to be some sort of designation for things that I'm supposed to pick up and things that I should not touch because they are other people's. Okay, so. Do I have to wait this out and maybe they forget? Can I give them back their stereo? Because I don't give a shit about the stereo. Do I, uh, is it even in here? Did I even pick it up? I just got <laughs> bubble bum. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, let's... Let's try. Brian, are you gonna be mad at me? Hey, come stop about? right there. Brian? Can we talk about this? Are we chill, dude? Oh, we're not chill, we're not chill. Don't make me murder you to progress the character and- Hey! Sir! Are we gonna have to kill them all anyways? Yeah, let's check the autosaves, cause like, don't get me wrong. They're still like, not nice dudes. But I'm not trying to just walk around murdering everyone. Okay, so let's do the beach house. Worst case, we can just bump back over to a pier. Man. Okay, so this is this the first time I've walked up here? Yeah, because he doesn't have the baseball bat. Whoo, we're all right. Hey, what's up, Brian? Help ya. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even read three. Um, I'm gonna keep us on the same path. Do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. I tell you what, I'll let you in. If on your way out, you want to work out a little fair trade for future purchases, you come see I'm Brian. I'll think about that, Brian. See you. Okay, now. Whew. So I don't remember if there's anything that I picked up. We already got that dialogue, so I'm not going to hang around. I'm not going to try to touch Puppy, because it clearly doesn't like me. So we'll just go in. We won't touch the car stereo. I'll have to pay more attention if there's like maybe some... See, that one doesn't have any sort of indication. It has green. This one's red, locked, which is standard. But, okay, so that's red and blinking. But there's nothing different around, like, the little circle icon. So maybe the red blinking means don't touchy? Yeah, 
what are you gonna do if that Mercurial dude or somebody comes back oh. for his money? Oh, they're doing Kill some weights. Oh, it just goes in here. It wasn't the puppy at all. Oh, it's a computer, though. And lots. It was green! It was green, dude! Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this first. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't check if we had any experience points to spend from last time. Okay, so we do have some experience, but not enough to buy anything because I do need another point in security. So the initial cost is three and the cost of the next one's three. That's, that's pretty forgiving. Well, my notes say lock picking and then hacking. So that's what we'll do. Now, let's see what the level's like for this. <laughs> let's do surf report first. Oh. Two to three feet, occasional larger sets. Water temp is 62 Fahrenheit, I'm assuming. Santa Monica. Three to four feet, good. Water temp's at 63. Doc Wheeler, two to three, Riptide at 64. El Porto, three to four, Riptide, 64. Hermosa, five to six feet, great conditions, 64. Redondo, five to six, great conditions, 65. I don't know if any of that is meaningful. No, no. Oh, okay, so let me write that down. I'm trying to keep track of, uh, so we're in, what is it, the, the beach house, I think is what it was called? Beach house. And this computer was at level five. Got it. So now we can come back later and take care of that. All right, so that is Puppy Door. Don't want that. But this is this individual. Is there any? Oh, there's other people. Hi. Yeah, that is what I love about this business. Fine women come to my house for my shit. I don't even got to call them on the phone or nothing. Say there, pretty lady. What can I hook you up with tonight? What do you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, reds, black, you pick a color. Are we looking for explosives? I don't want to mention Mercurio because I feel like shit's going to go south really quickly if I do that. I'm looking for something different. Do you have any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Have you seen me? <laughs> oh my god, some of these are bad. <laughs> Money problems. I need to make a car disappear for the insurance. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Oh. Asteroid. It's like TNT's bigger, meaner cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Oh. I do need some blood, though. <sighs> All right. Just because we're oppressively beautiful, we're unoppressively beautiful, Bicon, having our host summer. Is there anything else you take besides cash? Mm-hmm. 
I'd be open to negotiations. Question is, how open are you? About to open them veins, buddy. Do you want to send your buddy out of the room and find out? Yo, go check the odometer on my car. Now, <laughs> I'll give you what you want, but I got what you need. Let me show you a new trick I picked up. Okay, we can't drain this man completely dry. Oh, the blood's very nice, though. And I need that. One more. Alright. Thank you so much. Now, give me that fucking astrolite. What are these? Oh, it's just the, um, uh, the reflection. I thought I could interact with it. Okay, so this is green. Okay, so that's the front room. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just get out of here. We got the astrolite. I'm kind of sad I don't get to kick these guys in the ass, but I'm not good at kicking people in the ass. Bye, Brian. Okay, much better. Where are the... Man, those stairs are steep as hell. Oof. There we go. Whew. Dang. Oh, I saw werewolves in that text. Okay. We've got the explosives. What else is on our quest log? Okay, we retrieved the Ask Light from Curio. That's great. Um, we can't do this yet because we need our lock picking. Um, but we need to know about thin bloods. And we saw Lily last in the diner. Okay, oh yeah, the Carnival of Death one. Um, we saw the bloody murder scene, but it was just brutal. Do we need to go and look around more? <gasps> what if we go and use Auspex over there? What if we go use Auspex? Okay, hold on. Let's get over there and check it out. Uh, we had to go this way around. I'm really enjoying Auspex because it's not something that I'm used to playing with. Um, in Vampire the Requiem, Deva, who is the Toreador equivalent, have presence, basically, majesty, um, celerity, and vigor. We don't have Auspex. So, it's really cool. Do I see anything? I can't even talk to these cops. Hey, who are you? Nothing back there for you to see. Oh. Balls. It was a good idea, though. Cool. All right. So, let's go to the diner. We definitively have a lead for that. And then, we can go to the asylum. Which I'm really excited about. It. I feel like the club is very central to a to vampire society. All right. I don't think we had anything else with them. Let me make sure. It's going to be okay, Joe. Oh, brother. E evening. Do you know anything about the meta on the pier? M mur murder. No. No, I, I wasn't here when it happened. Um, that's perfectly all right. Thanks, anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, Poor dude. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know what uh, I'm saying. Forget what I say. Wait, um... Do you know anything about the murder on the pier? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis to the home of the stars and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Could you perhaps be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. 
Um, all right. Goodbye. What about E? Look at the ocean. I used to love swimming out into her at the crack of dawn. Um, I'm sure that you did. Would you mind if I asked you a few more questions? Be my guest. Do you know anything about the murder on the pier? <laughs> you got me. I reckon it happened a bit before we got here. A lot of viciousness the whole world over. Bound to creep into your backyard sooner or later. I see. Um, goodbye. Okay. I just had to make sure that they didn't have anything else, especially given the evidence that we found. Alright, so, diner time, diner time. And then, asylum. And yeah, I'm trying to avoid the overtly ugly or unkind dialogue options. Have you seen our humanity? Look how high our humanity is. Our humanity is so high. I'm trying to be a nice vampire. We won't always be nice, and we haven't always been nice, but those people have not done anything to earn our ire. Okay, so, diner. Diner time, diner time. Diner was... Oh, they're having a lot of texture problems today. Oh no. Okay, diner. Diner was... Back this way? Hey, sorry man. Oh, you're all good. Diner, perfect. It's a, it's a nice night out, huh? I can't talk What's to him. It's the hops, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, need a date? I'm good, but thank you. Refuge from the werewolves who linger in the rural areas around the city lights. Ooh, I read that bit. All right. Oh, I can't talk to him. Okay, but... Oh, I can't talk to anybody. Can I go in areas? What's wrong? What'll it be, honey? Do you ever see any pale... kind of strange types in here late at night? Is... That a trick question? Hmm. Did you see a couple in here a few months ago? Sapphire guy, pretty girl. Hmm. Let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. <sighs> oh goodness. You see any girls hanging out here? Pale girls? Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Oh my goodness. God, I think we're gonna have to, like... Toe the edge of the masquerade. Anyone that perhaps tried to drink someone else's blood? No, no, I have never seen that. Have you ever heard the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Try to remember. Where did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a strange pretty girl said something about it recently? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Oh, thank you a lot. I'll be sure to do that. What's wrong? <gasps> we got experience! <laughs> Okay, now her stuff was in the booth. Oh, and we got her photo. We need to go pick it up. Is this her stuff? All right. 
I don't see any stuff. Maybe she just gave it to us? We got a picture of her for sure. But where? Oh, so what is this? Oh, we got a be <laughs> Oh, the bail bond. We've got the astrolite and we've got a girl photo. Santa Monica Lily. Okay, she's got red hair. And a purse. Cool. So we've got just Santa Monica on it. Okay, that's not terribly much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Another fucking cucaracha. <clears throat> oh, excuse me? Oh, the bail bond is an item we just got? That's interesting. Really? Wrong? You still not talking to me, my guy? All right. <gasps> Necro, thank you so much, sweetheart. All right. Where would we find a lily? Let me double check where we are on our quests. Oh, okay, here we go. So, we retrieve Lily's belongings from the diner. They consist of a photo, a key, and a bail bond for Rolf Toten from Reading Kirkpatrick's Crime Pewter. You know that Toten's car is a red Lightning Bird 77. It's got Guy Coney on the license plate. Maybe I should find the car. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's really cool, honestly. We got that info because we read the bail bond stuff. Now I remember that there was a car like parked somewhere at some point. Like back in an alley or some shit. Hmm. The parking garage might also be a good place to look. There are a lot of cars there. Okay. Skies are all rotten and the storm is our death. It's okay, my guy. It's okay. Don't see cars over here. Hmm. Let's try the parking lot just because it's here. And then if we need to go and look down more alleyways, we can. Okay, it was red, so that's easy enough. This one's red. Doesn't have a license plate, though. So you can visibly see that one. But you can't see that one. This one's red. Hey, this is it. Oh, oh, we just like whole ass opened his trunk. Okay. What is that? Oh, a diary and a tire iron, which I don't want because I have one. Okay. Cool. This seems to be a woman's diary. Okay. Is this, is this Lily's? There we go, I gotta scroll. Jesus Christ. <sighs> it looks like it is. Okay, so. I met a guy today at the asylum. <laughs> he's so beautiful, oh my god. His name's Rolf, and he's from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't me. Oh, wow, that's terrible. You should never say that about yourself. I can't wait to see him. And then, oh, so almost a month later. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week, and if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. Lady, it's a month. And then... So about two weeks after that, maybe? I woke up at 9 p.m. today. That would be strange in and of itself, except I don't even remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. And then four days after that, I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. And the day after that, Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. 
He said it was all they could eat now, that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? And so, like, a month and a half later, Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. Oh. And about a month after that. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. Oh, no. Months afterwards. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't, I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he do this to me? Damn, more months. I talked with this guy I met in the Surfside until five this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. And the next day, I met that guy from the Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. And then like a week later, I brought E, the guy from the Surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I've never felt this way about someone before, not even Rolf. Oh no, the next night. E kissed me last night and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I, I drank too much and I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? And then two weeks-ish later? I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought blood from the blood bank. Maybe if I can sneak in, I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me? Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. But I didn't remember seeing her in there at all. Hold on. Oh, God. We gotta go to the blood bank. Okay, Main Street. I'm gonna have to figure out which one is which soon. Okay, perfect. Main Street is uh, the area next to our apartment. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Lily, red hair. Wait. This lady had red hair. Okay, we've got to go to the blood bank. And the blood bank was... Wait, did we have computers that we needed to get into? Yeah, admin computer. Now that we've got another point. Didn't we get in here already? Yeah, we got in here already. Okay, so I can cross admin computer out. So we, we still need to get the freezer keypad code from the morgue computer. And then some of the others. Okay. <gasps> oh, you're right, Comethologia. She clearly wasn't a vampire if our blood saved her. So let's try to find out where she is. Oh, I was trying to go to the blood bank. That sounded very close. There we go. Okay. This takes us to the blood bank, right? That's locked? Okay. No, these are the freezers. Well, I'm gonna re-explore a little bit because now we're looking- Hello? Who are you? What are you doing back here? I want the passcode to the freezer. 
Wait, but... I want it. I want the passcode. Oh, boy. Uh, I can't give that out. You're gonna have to leave. I will not do that, because I need something from you. Oh, you here for the special sauce? But it, why are we telling him the password if we're asking for the password? The password is uh, Grimace. I think you want the clinic upstairs. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? <laughs> I'm here for the special sauce. Why else would I be in a blood bank at night? Okay, stupid question, Phil. She's in the freezer. Today's code is... Think, Phil. It's, uh... Moon landing, uh... 1969. 1969. Got it. We got an experience. Okay, let's do our lock picking. This is gonna be lock picking, yeah? Amazing. Oh my god, we can do two! We can do hacking as well! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody shut up! Lock picking is only security? Oh, and dex. So dex... But, hmm... We do have enough for this. Because this one is going to be... Yeah, let's do wits, because it's going to help our combat defense and our hacking. Okay. Okay, okay. We're good to go. All right, so we talked to that guy. Let's go back to the freezers. That's locked. This goes back to the blood bank proper, right? Yes, okay. Just trying to get my bearings. Freezers were right here. No, where were the freezers? Here. Okay. Oh, that's right. 1969. Oh! Okay, I was like, uh, hello? What is this? Oh god. Hunger. I need it. A drop of it on my tongue, sliding down my throat. The hot flash in my brain lining up my body. I can smell it everywhere. Blood. What happened to you? Let me go. It's painful. Like I'm going to die. It's calling. Never felt like this before. Let me go. I can smell it. I have to have it. Calm down. Tell me who you are. Let me go. Um, I don't want to extort her, but I don't think letting her go is a smart idea in the first place. Um, we've got a blood bag. Can't we just give it to her? Because she's going to go hurt somebody. Oh, no. Hold still. I'll let you go. Huh? Oh, God. Huh? You don't look well at all. Oh, sweet mother of God! <gasps> oh! never been so satisfying all of it i drank until i heard his heart stop and i was sucking on a dry dead artery it was euphoric but i've i've killed him i'd never killed anyone before what happened what came over me it's called frenzying because you don't have any blood calm down tell me who you are what just happened? It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. <sighs> uh, 
Um, I think two is patronizing, so I'm, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to continue to try to calm her down, even though it doesn't seem like it's working very well for us. Shh. Calm down. It's all right. I tried to steal some blood. I heard they sold it. I was hungry, and I can't hunt in town. They caught me, and I was strapped, trapped. Thought I'd never escape, but I killed a man. I have to get out of here. Who are you? My name is Lily. Lily, you're the one that E told me about. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I said that I would help him. What do you know about Thin Bloods? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A Thin Blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Go on. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider Thin Bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a Thin Blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go see E on the beach. He said he forgives you. And he wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? No, quite the opposite. You should go talk to him. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Man, like... All of these options are like, you want to extort? Blackmail? How about that extortion, though? I promise, Lily. It's not your fault, and you couldn't help it. Goodbye. Oof. Oh. Huh? Why'd huh? you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less bill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do in that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more. All right. You're lucky. If I hadn't have freed her, her friends were going to shoot up the place. That's interesting. A missed opportunity. Guns make people cocky. They never appreciate what a skilled hand married to a knife can do. All you have to do is get close enough to cut off the trigger finger. Or their face. You like to talk, don't you? I want to hear a story. Tell me, what's the best way you violenced up someone? I want to hear every grisly detail. If I like your story, I'll sell you some blood. Is this because we haven't murdered anyone? I mean, we have. We murdered people in the tutorial. Jesus. Um, also, this guy needs to go to therapy. In, in a jail cell. I'm no killer. Blood comes from out of the living. From all kinds in a red torrent. A crimson seep at the speed of a heartbeat. For each drop, a teeny bit of life shed. You don't care how it's got, as long as it is. You'll be begging for it, and not getting any. Whatever. This guy! Wow. She's just examining her nails. Oh, so this was the locked door back here. Oh. Okay, so at least we got into the freezers, so we got the freezer keypad. So now with our new hacking abilities, we needed the morgue computer, so the morgue's through here. Come on, you got it. Naha. 
Morgue computer. Morgue computer. Haha. -ha. All right. A bobo? G. Wounds suggest subject was beaten to death with a baseball bat. Jesus. So we've got falls D. Severely beaten to death. Something about the way this one looked made me want to lock it in the freezer. We've got a Jane Doe. Subject apparently died of indeterminate causes. No, subject's body contained only one pint of blood. Foul play suspected. Oof. Harry. Subject apparently choked to death on ham and or cheese. All right, that's it. Nice, we can scratch that off our list too. So the only ones we're missing now are the ones upstairs, which we can probably go and get. Can we? Okay, no, we do have to get out of this way. I thought... Yeah, okay, good. I was like, I thought we could. There were stairs. And there are. Uh, can we go up again? We need to go to these stairs. These go up. All right, so we had one. Oh, God. Yeah, we couldn't get in here. We couldn't get into either of these. <gasps> Are you for real? Okay, so it looks like both of those are four. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do my blood stuff. And I think... Yeah, we can go ahead and... Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to make sure I can get all of them at once. Because we need to do security and prescriptions. Okay, I wasn't sure if he was going to get mad at us. Okay, let's see if we can get in with this one. Yes. Control substances camera disabled. Yes. For security purposes, all other cameras have automatically been enabled. Okay, so this is the one in controlled substances. It's turned off now. Okay, okay, okay. I was controlled right here. So that camera is off, so we can attempt this now. Oh, but we don't have the code. Okay, so what we're going to do... Um, it's probably going to be in prescriptions. Oh no, there's a medical safe in prescriptions. So let's go back to the... Okay, yeah, so there is a camera there. That's the one we got to turn off for the other thing. So, yeah, yes, okay. So let's use Auspex. Okay. Door unlocked. Controlled substance door. And then CS cabinet. Oh no, I think our stuff wore off already. Yeah, shit, we're gonna have to use another one. That's okay. I think we already got into the door anyways. Page. Unlock. All right, controlled substances. Wait, can I unlock control substances camera? Enabled for your security. Oh. Okay, so now we gotta go do the camera again. 
I like how that guy is just chilling. Is it camera one that we gotta turn off? Control says his camera disabled. Other cameras. Okay, good. So now the camera should be off and the door open. Controlled substances. Which is right here. Yes. Oh. Are you for real? Sir, I can't get out. Because you're in the way. <laughs> I'm free. Okay, so now. Prescriptions. That has its own... We gotta turn that camera off, so. Security. Camera two. Prescription automatically turned off. Got it. Prescription. Boop. Yes. Drag box. Vivid Trazac. Take one before relations. Last 68 hours for sweat. Oh my god. Prescription bottle. Ortho tricycline. Failure to take his prescribed could result in 18 years of responsibility. And then estrogen. Alright. Well. Wow. Oops. At least we got a bunch of pills. Okay. Well, we got almost everything. I'm just being incredibly thorough. Okay, so Lily is out. Let's go back. Oh, hello? Can I have that? <gasps> That's right, we didn't talk Lovely to the evening. dude. I need to talk to the dude. I need to see if we're still gonna be able to buy blood. Even though it's a heckin' expensive. Or is he gonna be a dickhole? Blood don't grow on trees. Hmm. 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 What can I do to make up for the girl I freed? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor, and I'll whip up a fresh batch. Wait a second. Is he... Selling vampire blood? He clearly knows she's a vampire. Whatever. All right, okay, so we can. To get in here is like nine, I think. Yeah, okay. Ah, fine, fine. He's not gonna sell to us unless we put another vampire in that person's place or another person. I'm not really a fan of either of those things. Oh, I can just go out here. Rip. All right, let's see what our quest logs got. So we need to go and talk to E, yes. And then we have to talk to Mercurio. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the E quest first because I like E. I think he's nice. And then we'll come back and deal with Mercurio. So, Beaches this way. 
Oh, I hope Lily was nice to him. I'm not paying that man any money. He's not a nice dude. Oh, you're right. I think I might have enough uh, lock picking to be able to get into the apartment across the hallway from mine. Wait, where is she? Oh, she's right here. But not hanging out with E. Hi. Um, how did it go with E? This life's been hard on him, both of us, but he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Oh, of course. You probably want your stuff back then. Here, take it. Thank you. Keep your love alive. Goodbye. <gasps> Yay, so cute! Something nice happened. Well, you brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. Yay! Oh, we got an experience point, too! You're welcome, E. Keep her safe. We're gonna be getting out of LA soon. Too dangerous here. Rosa told us something big's about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the Jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I'll, I'll think about that. Thank you, E. And good luck. Ocean's a pine. Okay, good, we got more experience. Now I guess people would keep her stuff to sell it, but let's run and never look back. Hi. Oh, can we go for a swim with her? I just kinda wanna see if it is a thing. Do you wanna go for a swim? Don't let me stop you from going in. Oh, maybe another time. Oh. Okay. Let's run and never look back. Can we just Mayhem, go? Bro. That's it. That's as far as we can go. Okay, maybe not. All right, what do we got now? Okay, astrolite. Time for astrolite, time for lock picking. That I can do. Now, Main Street's gonna be for both. Yeah. So Main Street's our apartments. Awesome. I'm gonna do apartments first, and then we'll go across the way into Mercurial. Oof, man, those signs are having a hard time. Moment of truth. Oof. Blood buff it is. Oh, <laughs> Nanami's little feet are twitching. <laughs> she got them little beans. She's so asleep. <laughs> All right, blood buff time. All right. Well, there is a whole lot of nothing in here. Okay, so there's a recorder. What else? Is that... It? Dang. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look, 
I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. All right. There we go. Do we have enough experience for another thing? Oh my shit, we do. Okay. So, haggling was the only other thing on my list that we kind of needed a point in. And charisma adds to that, right? No, charisma doesn't. What adds to haggle? Manipulation and finance. So, oh my god. Comethology, I was thinking the same thing. The dude sounds like he's doing a Nicolas Cage impersonation. Okay, so manipulation is just haggle? All right. Because I definitely don't care much about finance. It costs less, but I mean, I guess it's smarter. So now we have a tackle two. Nice. All right. So our quest log has been updated. So we've intercepted a message from Mr. Durbin. He's headed down to the Skyline Apartments 2A, a residence of Mr. Milton. He's expecting a call from someone named Reno, so we're going to go back to Arthur. Lovely. So if you remember Arthur's bail bonds man, Arthur Kilpatrick? And then Mercurio. And then Asylum. <laughs> All right, Bail Bonds Man was literally at the other end. Mm, I guess Mercurio's right here. Can be a little uh, efficient. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Oh, um, are you all right, my guy? Mercurio? Uh. <sighs> I caught the astrolite back. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? No, that's not really my style. Did you get my money back? Did we get his money back? I mean, I think so. Your money? Yeah, yes, I did. Here it is. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have oh. to buy some new kids. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. So you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never we just gave him from our money? Well. All right. Man, I'm I'm very nice. <laughs> all right. Um, what's the story with this astrolite? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Um, what is a Sabbat? You haven't been doing this too long, have you? No. The Sabbat, as I understand it, are your typical power-hungry movie monsters. They specialize in causing grief. I tangle with their life, let me tell you. I didn't enjoy it. Tell me about this warehouse. I heard a lot about that operation. I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? No. Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Uh, um, where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. 
I try not to do business there. Oh. And um, what can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Um, I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Oh, goodness, many. Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? I had some other questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Tell me about some of the power players here. Who exactly? Jeanette Vorman. Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Call me old-fashioned, but I believe a knee to the balls always makes guys talk. All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Can't or don't? Honey, you're terribly misinformed. I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Batram Tongue. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. I had some other questions about places. Specifically? Hmm, I think that is all of them. Never mind. Uh, goodbye. All right, so let's see what this has done for our quest log. Okay, so Mercurio has told you about the warehouse being used by the Sabbat that we must infiltrate and destroy. So, but the person that gets us in is hiding because of a feud with the owner of the asylum. So we have to go talk to the owner of the asylum to get the feud called off to get into the warehouse. Whew. Okay, and then Durbin. Okay, Durban I can do. Feel better. We're doing so much today. Okay. Bail bonds, bail bonds, bail bonds. Bail bonds are this way. Bill Bonds? No. Yes? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hello, Arthur. Hey there, hot stuff. Don't call me that. I've got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He skipped town. He fled someplace downtown. All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. No problem, but uh, how about that money you promised me? Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you. See you around, then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Later. Are we done with that quest? Okay, so... 
Even though Arthur has cut me loose, I can get some money for finding him. But we can't leave this area yet, I don't think. Can Oh, downtown. He went downtown. Right? Didn't he go downtown? We haven't been to either of these places yet. Okay. God, I guess it's time for the asylum. All right. The bones of your ancestors will rise up and reclaim the flesh that they lent Dude, their Dude, you need to calm down. Okay, so. This is our first time. I'm gonna get the music going. All right, how's that doing for sound? What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? This was sudden. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. I hope she's a Toreador like we are. Oh, she definitely has some Harley Quinn vibes for sure, for sure. At least in appearance. All right. Uh, frightening isn't the word I'd use. Exciting's more like it. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. Fire hoses? When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. What's your name? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. Are her eyes different colors or is that just me? Do you have a name? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. All right. Goodbye. Oh, oh my goodness. Tragedy. Fucking mayhem, bro. <sighs> Sucks, bro. <sighs> Sucks, bro. All right, man. There's I, I guess I imagined it to be a busier. Can we just like? We can't talk to everybody. But we could talk to this person. Um. Oh. Since I walked in here, I haven't been able to take my eyes off you. You think I'm really? Oh. Oh, are we trying to feed? I'll say it again. But this time, I'll whisper it in your ear. Hmm. Um. I have something I want to tell you. Come closer. Oh, we can just like right in the middle. Oh, but she's already really low, it looks like. Okay, no. Goodness. Okay, thank you. Hi, dude. What's up? Uh, what can I get you, beautiful? I'm on the wagon. We do need to find Therese. 
Nox. Nox was was the obnoxious ghoul, right? Oh, on the wagon means not drinking at the moment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Why would we want to find Nox? I'm looking for Teresa. Uh, where can I find her? Therese? She's upstairs. Oh, she said she had business to attend to, but I can hear her and Jeanette bickering from here. Why do you need to see her? I called earlier. I have an interview for the part-time hostess position. Damn, I wish that was my job. Go on up oh. and see her. Take the elevator over there. Thank you. Goodbye. What the hell kind of music is this? <laughs> Look, dude, I'm doing my best. Everything's copyrighted. <sighs> Sucks, bro. <gasps> Wait, we can dance? It's not my problem. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Hey, is everyone hey. leaving because we're dancing? Okay, no, they're gonna stay here and dance with us. This is very reminiscent hey, of Shepard. Yeah, right oh back. my god. Oh, all right. In case we can't get in. Okay, these are just the bathrooms. Oh, we can go upstairs though. And I have not done that quite yet. Doesn't anyone smoke anymore? Uh, not interested. Have you seen me? Hey, girl. No. <sighs> Hello, Knox. What's going on? Yeah, not much. I'm just waiting around for my master. Oh. The master you couldn't talk about. Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about him. Oh, man! His name's Bertram Tongue. He's a Nosferatu. No kidding. Small world. I'm looking for him. Oh, man. I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh, man. I... <sighs> Whenever he needs me, just, you know... Appears! Why are you yelling? What did you need to tell him? Oh, man. Wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. So what's the problem? Oh, man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now, instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time. Like, off in the distance watching me, he'll warp up next to me. Oh, man, then whoo, disappear. <laughs> that must be unnerving. It's freaking me out. I know this thing is totally toying with me. I want to put a bullet in its head, but who knows if that'll do anything. So I was waiting till I talked to Bertram, but... Well, hell if I know where he disappeared to. <laughs> it's messed up! Something about your story is a little off, Knox. Oh, what are you saying? You tell me. I can tell that you're not giving me the whole truth here. What? How did you know? Ah, uh, look. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Eh? Anyway, why should I tell you anything, huh? I mean, you're not being straight with me. That's because I'm not. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Damn it, Nox. Damn. Oh, man. All right, look. I messed up, okay? I'm just doing what I was told, though. Continue. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about the Asian vent, but it's true. I swear. And everything else is true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. I can't do it, so Bertram needs you to. He could have just asked me. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he can't stick his neck out like that. He doesn't deal directly. His way, I guess. So can you do it? Mm, I don't know. Why would I want to do a favor for you after this? Seriously, no, really. This thing is here and it's bad news for all of us. Bertram says there could be an army of them show up any day unless we show them we mean business. All right, fine. I'll, I'll take care of it. Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Uh, driver's license? Should not tell you who he is. No. The picture on the license isn't him. Oh. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. All right, I'll take care of it. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. <laughs> uh, sounds good, Nox. I still have a couple of questions. Oh, man, yeah, sure. What do you want to know? So, what's Bertram like? Oh, man. Well, he's like the only vampire I know, but... Well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh, man. Well, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really spinning your brain. You know, it's like trippy. It's crazy. <gasps> man. But I guess that's the Nosferatu thing, you know? <laughs> they, like, know everything, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, could I ask you a couple more questions? Oh, man. Yeah, sure. What do you want to know? Do you like... Being a ghoul. It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. <laughs> oh, I do think we got that one previously, because I remember that part. All right, I'm out of here later. Mayhem, bro. Look at your Tragic. hair, my guy. Okay, so elevator. Oops, no, 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 no. There we go. Elevator time. Is it just gonna take me? Is this it? A gold ring. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bitch. So vulgar. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Therese, you really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century bud. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted pipe concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Did I start calling a duck a pig again? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Well, all right, it's the same thing in case we somehow missed it from earlier. Hi. Am I gonna get pulled in? No, I can move around. Oh, that's... Creepy. That's locked. There's a computer. Can I just like... <gasps> the bed is heart shaped. That's pretty great. There's two computers. So, oh, I... Oh, I see. 
one side is Jeanette's and the other side is Teresa's. Okay, well, since Jeanette is not here. All right. I don't know what level hacking this is. Fuck, it's too high for us though. Oh, but if I just, oh, hold on, hold on. If I just use some aspects. Discipline's not allowed? I thought they could use aspects. Do you mind if I, uh, use your computer very quickly? Oh, I can't. All right, what's up? Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Oh, Jeanette, she was no trouble. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Um, are you Therese? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to call her on the Jeanette thing. They can own it together. I need you to call off the feud with Batram Tongue. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Um... Why do you hate him? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Um, then could you put out the word that you've no feud with him? Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Um... That's unfortunate, but I, I do need to see him. Tongue and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Um, a spirit? <laughs> Do you mean a ghost? Oh, I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Oh, um, sure, I'll, I'll do that. What do I need to do to get rid of this ghost? Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Okay. Um. I'll do that if you promise to call off the feud. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Okay. I can respect that, and I appreciate it. Goodbye. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. Uh, I feel like any, any reasonable person would say this. Sewers. You cannot seriously expect me to wade through such filth. Listen, 
You're young and naive, so I'll offer you this chance one more time. Continued existence versus a beautiful sunrise. I'd give it serious consideration. If I must... Very well. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. I had a few questions. Okay, here we go. Tell me about your sister. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. Um, I've got a few more questions to answer off you, if that's all right. Um, we already know what we're supposed to be doing at the hotel. We already talked about Bertram, so I guess that was it. I've changed my mind. Uh, goodbye. All right. In case we can't get in there. Oh, that must be where Jeanette is. So, wow, is that all that's up here? I'm just like pressing it over and over again. We good? Okay. Ah, oh, okay, freedom. Okay, so we needed Jeanette's computer. And I didn't catch what level it was. But it was too high for us. I think it was just a level five, but. Okay, so, quest log. The ghost haunts at midnight. So Therese wants us to go to her Ocean House hotel and search for a personal item of the spirit and then bring that to her. <sighs> Excuse me. God, and the only way we can do that is through the sewers. Ugh. And then Knox is being stalked by an Asian vampire. He wants it to go away and ask for your help. He's given you a license, which belongs to Virgil Crumb, a resident of the morgue. I'm glad that we did all this extra exploring. Hmm. All right. Uh, right back at you. Okay, so we're pretty decent on blood, but there was one lady up here we didn't talk to that we can probably top off with. Oh, there's different people. I don't remember seeing you up here before. We can't talk. We can't talk Sheesh, to this lady. Is this place always so dead? <laughs> oh, God. I'm here now, so the party has officially started. Really? And what are you bringing to the party, huh? Got anything I can't get out in Arizona? Everyone at this place is so straight edge. Drugs. I don't do drugs, but I can share my ecstasy with you. Now you've got me curious. I'm not going to read that one. It's a long time until sunrise. Want to come play with me? Oh, yes. I'm just looking to get some blood. And then you can take your shitty cat metaphors elsewhere. Oh, your blood's not great. Take that back to Arizona. Why am I stuck between tables? What? Can you come up the stairs so I can go down them? Ugh. You'd think there was room for two people on one set of stairs. What? How did you... Oh god, we gotta go through the sewers. So we, I don't think we need to go back to the morgue, or maybe we do. I mean, we're right here. And by right here, I mean right around here.
Oh, we still got the, the club music going on. <laughs> I'll deal with that. <laughs> There we go. Look how precious this child is. She's so cute. A little baby girl. Okay. Lovely evening. Oh, he was nice to me. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the morgue. The morgue is this way. I like how that one person just screaming. Oh, there's somebody in here now. Okay, well maybe we should look at the thing first. Okay, now we've got 220. We're almost back up to where we were. <laughs> Maybe I should go sell some of this stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the dude. Virgil Crumb. He is here. What do we do about that? Let's see. Yeah. He's given you a license, belongs to Victor Crumb, who is indeed here. Do we look through these? 20 minutes later. Maybe not. So maybe we need to look at the license? Oh, maybe it's got his address on the license. Fair something apartment 204. Oh, but it's in a different state, uh, city in Costa Mesa. Huh. Interesting. Oh, all right. Apparently it's blocked. Um, the chest was empty, but we can, uh, Oh, now, what? It was empty previously. Foxy Box's key, what the fuck? Are these his things now? Oh, it was empty because we didn't have the quest? I mean, that makes sense, kind of. I'm still gonna be a little on the salty side about it. But that's great because I really wanna go to Foxy Box's because I haven't been there yet. one of the few places we haven't gotten to. All right. Foxy boxes. Oh, we haven't been able to go in here either. I honestly forgot that was there. Boxy boxes. Oh! This isn't what I was expecting at all. Did I just chunk it? Mmm, it's a computer. Oh, you're gonna make me do all that? Report one. My initial observations of the city indicate that the canines here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. I shall continue to watch and listen. All right. Two. 
These Cainites are a curious and fragile race. They waste the gift of their immortality on petty scheming and fleshly gain. We will have little problem making this city our own. Oh. This must be the individual that was uh, watching Knox. Report three. It seems that my presence here has been noted by one of the Cainites, a Nosferatu, I believe they are called. He has entrusted the responsibility of my surveillance to a bumbling mortal fool. I have begun to follow this so-called spy, a small amusing respite from my usual duties. Four. I have drawn the attention of a newcomer. An agent... Oh, this is us. An agent of the prince who has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most canites I have observed. Wow, that's saying a lot. Because I feel like we know absolutely nothing. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross, because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We'll find little resistance if we come in force. To do what? Just displace the Camarilla? As the ruling body? Oh, no, this is just sus. It's just sus. There's just a big room full of boxes. Save game. That's what I want. I want to save. Yeah. Foxy boxes. Which, in my head, is just piggy dipping. Piggy dipping! Foxy boxes. Piggy dipping at the piggy at pond. At the foxy barn. Not piggy pond. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or cosplay on Instagram or my OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.